Here's my sweetie. This is the way we're doing laundry at this point. We're looking for a uh, older model washer, like a 1957 Maytag. Those are awesome. They're very simple. But until then, we're using this Wonder washer, which doesn't use any electricity. As you can see, the hand crank right there used manual labor. Good exercise. And uh, what she's doing here is, is taking the, the clothes that have already been washed and she wrings them out a little bit in the sink there and then they go over to this unit here which is a spinner it's basically similar to the spin cycle on a dryer except that this spins a lot faster and it's a lot more efficient it basically sp spins the water out of the clothes that's what you see the uh, the bowl down there for and uh, She gets all the clothes in there. We'll get it turned on and you'll see how it works. The window washer is very simple. It works great. It uses um, just water and soap like you would normally use in your washer. But when you put the lid on it, it actually pressurizes uh, with a spinning motion so that it pushes the suds into the clothing and really get your clothes a lot cleaner than a regular washer. The downside is obviously you can see here it's fairly small so you're not going to put a whole clothes washer size load in it. You can do shirts, undergarments and, and small um, uh, washcloths and things like that but towels and sheets you're going to have to go to the laundromat. Anyway, just snap the lid down when, you're, when you got your clothes in and you can hear it. Look at that water coming out of there. Things work great. You can find these on Amazon.com. Both units, the spinner and the wonder washer. It works very quickly. You really only have to have your clothes in there for a minute or two and you're done. And she's getting ready to do the next load. You can see over here. Takes very little soap, very, very little soap, not very much at all. Pour a gallon of water in there, add a little soap, pour a little more water in there, and you're good to go. For those of you that are wondering, that's a bag of lava rocks in the window. <laughs> lava rocks naturally absorb any odors in the air, which is really cool for the kitchen. It's also serves as our laundry area right now temporarily and the sunlight rejuvenates the lava rock so that's why it's in the window we don't have a whole lot of sun right now or today but hopefully enough to dry these clothes there she goes next load you'll see how the top is locked on This unit here is just about done. I don't see much of any more water coming out. So just pop that open and it has automatic brake. That works there. Then you just pull the clothes out and put them in the basket. I'm going to take them outside. Fresh air smell. Uh, don't have to worry about wrinkles. Nothing like that. Lots of advantages for just hanging your clothes out on a clothesline. And they get, with this spinner, the clothes get dry very, very quickly out on the line. On a hot summer day, they'll be done in five minutes. Anyway, here she goes with the next load. You see how it works? Great exercise. <laughs> <laughs> All you do is spin it. She's got the lid. I meant to catch her putting the lid on, but I missed it. Sorry, folks. Anyway, the lid locks on with a gasket. Typically the type of washer they people use in RVs and campers. So if you've got an RV or camper, you probably already know what this is. It's called a Wonder Wash or Wonder Washer. Just spin it like that for a couple of minutes. And then you're done. When you connect the tube to the bottom, it automatically starts draining it. And she's about to do that right here, I believe. So you'll see. No, not yet. 
Oh, not yet, she says. No, I'm going to give him that, and then I'll come and oh, okay. do it again. And then I'll She's going to go ahead and hang this up outside. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about us and how we live, our alternate lifestyle out in the woods. And until next video, God bless.